Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog PharmaSalonBoon.com and I have my sister Laura here today from Our Oily House. So as you know, if you follow along, I bring her on once a month and we do some kind of essential oil recipe, DIY, benefits, something essential oils related. And today we're really excited to make a DIY essential oil diffuser ornament for your Christmas tree. So this is a very basic recipe. It just uses a few ingredients, water, baking soda, cornstarch, and then of course, essential oils. Now the idea is that it's an ornament that's a little bit porous, so it can kind of soak in oils and then you can smell them throughout the Christmas season if you put them on and then hang it on your tree. So several of these would be kind of cool if you had a bunch of them so you could really get a nice strong smell. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're gonna dive right into making them and then as they are baking, we're gonna discuss some of the oils and their benefits. All right, so what's the first step? We're gonna start by adding three-fourths cup of water to medium to high heat, and then you're going to pour in this one cup of baking soda, and then we're gonna do a half of a cup of cornstarch. Okay. Half a cup of cornstarch, and then we are just going to stir this all around over medium to high heat until it starts to form into the shape of a ball. As you keep going on medium heat, it turns into very thick and you're just waiting until you get kind of a dough ball that you can roll out. Obviously you have to let it cool so it doesn't burn you. And we have some little star cookie cutters and so we are gonna make ours into star shapes. You could use any type of Christmas cookie cutter or shape that you want, little snowman, Santa, anything that you wanna do. We think it's gonna be fun to do some stars. After I cooked it and formed it into a ball, I just put it on some parchment paper to allow it to cool a bit. It's still pretty hot, but I think we can work it. The goal here is just to roll it out into about a half inch thickness and then cut with your desired shape. We're gonna do a star like Laura said. You can use different sizes. We're gonna use a large star for this. All right, I'm gonna go throw these in the oven and then we can talk about some of the oils. Now we opted to wait until after they're baked to add the little hole because I think it might close up a little bit during baking, so we're gonna just do that afterwards. All right, so let's talk about which oils are great for that holiday smell that makes you think Christmas and winter. I have several different oils here in front of us and a couple that I'm for sure gonna um, point out are your fur oils. So I have white fur, Douglas fur. These really have a nice Christmas tree, kind of pine tree smell to I them. I feel like I'm skiing through the woods in Colorado with that one. Yeah, I love the, the <laughs> white fur, really smells good. And then of course I have my cassia and my cinnamon essential oil because cinnamon just screams Christmas to me. I love pairing these cinnamon with white fur together. I think that is a wonderful wonderful Christmas smell. And cassia is in the cinnamon family. It's known as Japanese cinnamon. I think this one has more of a Christmas scent. The, but they both do, but this one- The even cinnamon just, bark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cinnamon bark. It just smells like Christmas. I also have some clove. That one is one that I like to diffuse a lot during the Christmas season. Sandalwood, another woodsy oil paired with your cinnamon is going to kind of have that holiday feel to it. 
And then that's myrrh essential oil. That one reminds me of Christmas. That's what they brought Jesus. Yeah, the myrrh and the frankincense Frank, yeah. both. Yeah, and then also ginger. Ginger has a nice, sweet, refreshing aroma. And it also, like yeah, it smells like, like baking. Like if you're making some holiday cookies or something. Once the ornaments are completely done baking for about an hour and we bring them out and they cool a little bit, we are going to add four to six drops of essential oil on each ornament. And they're going to kind of soak into the ornament and then they're going to let out that smell and you're gonna get some aromatic benefits from them and they're gonna help make your house smell a little bit more like Christmas. Mm -hmm. And throughout the Christmas season, if you think that they are starting to fade, you can just grab your ornament and drop some more essential oils onto it, just kind of rub it in a little bit to make them last a little bit longer. And you mentioned that this would be a good activity with kids if you let them maybe play with some food dye and things like that. Yes, like if once they come out that I can see my kids really enjoying painting these ornaments or even using some maybe some natural food dyes whenever you are putting it on the stove to make them different colors you can do red or green we both think the white are gonna look really pretty but you can definitely play around with that and decorate them however you want but if you go over to the blog post which I'll leave a link in the description below some of our favorite blends so I will give you some recipes and recipe cards so that you can make some blends that are great for the Christmas season Lisa and I are going to be doing an essential oils class that is gonna be based on essential oils for winter time, about immunity, um, ways to support your immune system during the winter months, awesome fun diffuser blends for the winter months. And we are gonna be hosting that online on Monday, November 19th at 8 p.m. Central Time. And there will be a link for that class in the description below if you would like to sign up for that. All right, well, if you are not yet following Laura, she is over at our Oily House here on YouTube. I'll leave a link below and in the cards above, but she shares all kinds of DIY recipes. She shares food recipes. So make sure to head over to her channel and hit subscribe. She has new videos every single week, just like I do here, and so you can get that content over there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're brand new, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.